Welcome to Jump In, the social media podcast from iJump. Find out more about us at iJump.co.nz. G'day, this is Simon from iJump. Hello. I'm just recording this a little bit later than usual um, because last night uh, I was giving a presentation uh, with the Internet Bureau uh, along with renowned New Zealand blogger Russell Brown from Public Address. Uh, and so that was a really good presentation that he gave on the state of blogging. And uh, I gave a bit of a, uh, a how-to on uh, podcasting, including, you know, the best example is uh, the one that you do yourself. Uh, so I talked a little bit about Jump In. So I'd just like to uh, extend a warm welcome Welcome and greeting to anyone who's subscribed from last night. Um, welcome aboard. I would love your feedback about uh, how to make this better. Uh, and uh, yeah, today we have a really exciting look into corporate blogging from from what is, as far as I know, New Zealand's only uh, corporate blog, and that is ASB's IWantAHome.co.nz. Now, um, it's not so much a corporate blog in the sense that the CEO is is blogging. It's it is more like a custom publication, a magazine, um, but it is still blogging and there are still the issues that uh, that everyone has to contend with, with when a company puts out a blog. Uh, so we had a chat with um, Toby Hillis uh, and Janet Meacher from ASB and uh, here's Marie with that interview now. But um, stay tuned afterwards because we've got a, um, a special competition and you can win a book called Join the Conversation. But in the meantime, here is Marie talking with Toby and Janet from ASB. Hi everyone, it's Marie from iJump. We're here today with Toby Hillis. Now he's the Chief Manager of Retail Marketing of ASB. And we've got Janet Meacher, Senior Product Manager, Retail and Home Lending. Okay, so um, welcome to iJump. Yeah. Okay, now we understand that um, ASB has a blog. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. It's um, on our website, iwantahome.co.nz and um, it's part of that website. The website is quite big and entails a few things. It's for our current home lending campaign. It's something that we've launched and it's something that we launched, when was that? October 8th? October yeah. 8th, yeah, 2007. And, um, it's got quite a lot on it, the website. What are the three main sections, Janet? Um, there's one section which is dedicated to news and views, so latest news uh, across the property market and across the industry generally. Um, and views from sort of different contributors within the marketplace as well. Um, the second channel is called the Essentials, which is effectively a kind of essential guide to um, home, home ownership mm -hmm. in New Zealand. So whether you're buying, selling, building, renovating or investing in property, um, it kind of covers all the main sort of steps and stages of those processes and gives lots of advice and information. Um, and then the third channel is um, about our winner Jenny in Home campaign. So uh, actually follows the process of the build of the Jenny in Home from scratch right through to completion. Yeah. Um, there's a builder's blog on there from the building site, so talking about what's happened on the building site each week. Um, and also there's a video gallery showing footage mm. of the build, a mm. photo gallery showing all the photos at the different stage of the house. Um, and that's it. It's the three sections. Wow. That's great. So, who actually, how did you actually come about um, choosing the people to sort of update? Because it's all, it sounds like a lot of information to update. How do you actually keep, in, keep on, on top of everything? Um, well, the essentials um, section um, was generated internally and um, by talking to people that we'd used before to create information on the asb.co.nz site, okay. uh, where we had information just generally about home loans mm. and home lending. Um, so what we did was we just went through all of that, um, sort of arranged it into more sort of logical steps in terms of, you know, if you're a first time buyer and you're looking to buy a property, what are the kind of stages that you go through? Mm -hmm. And then we had all of that content rewritten specifically for the web so that it was, um, you know, suited that environment. So obviously lots of shorter articles, mm -hmm. a lot more mm -hmm. snazzier headlines, mm -hmm. um, written in a much more kind of light hearted and easy to digest way. Mm -hmm. And then we looked at a range of, we kind of generated a list of topics that we wanted the site to cover. Um, and then we looked for a broad range of contributors to the site, so from different, um, uh, different areas of the industry. So real estate mm -hmm. agents, lawyers, builders, 
property investors, just the whole kind of myriad of people that are involved. Mm. And so what we're looking at is setting up relationships with those people to make sure we've got a good, diverse range of contributors um, on lots of different topics. Excellent. And how do you actually manage um, the content, or do you, how do you measure the? You know, how do you measure whether it's actually working, or do you get a lot of feedback from from, from your customers as well? Or? Yeah. So the content, um, some of the content comes in automatically to the site, mm -hmm. um, but we do we do still filter the content. So we still look at it, check that it fits mm -hmm. with our sort of editorial guidelines, um, and then we decide to publish. But I mean, all of the articles because we're um, actually you know deciding who the contributors are there's no issue in terms of what they are giving us as content um, we then um, also encourage comments and feedback on all the articles that are published on the site so um, that's a fairly new feature so we're just starting to get a lot more comments coming through now um, and then we also measure the performance of the site so we're looking at you know the number of hits the site's getting unique browsers page impressions and looking at the different areas of the site to see how they are performing. Okay, well, um, what are some of the challenges that you've actually faced prior to launching the, um, the blog? The <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, just, just stepping into the unknown, yeah. that, that's probably how I'd describe the biggest challenge. I mean, this is the kind of, this concept came up, we wanted to build a resource. Um, we had written a magazine prior to this so we wanted to move into the online space it was a natural progression um, the difference I guess is when you build a web page a website you've got an idea or a notion of what you want to build but how it executes can be different to what you thought in your mind mm -hmm. and it does evolve mm -hmm. so as uh, more content comes on as you get some feedback as you see what parts of the site are performing really well or not as well, you adjust. So you have to constantly watch and adjust. And like a lot of marketing products or campaigns or projects, you set out to design or achieve something and you know what that's going to be. You've got a deadline you're working yeah, to. And on that deadline, it's launched. Mm. And that's how it is. And then you do a review and, and yeah. that's it till the next time? Yeah, and, and if it's a product, the product might get changed on review. Mm. But that review period can be quite long, it depends on the mm. kind of product, I guess. Um, with this, it changes each day, it yeah. depends on the feedback from customers. And you don't always know what's going to be there, so you know you want to write a section on dealing with real estate agents and that's in the plan. But you know, what do people think of real estate agents? Some people would give you negative feedback, some would give you yeah. positive feedback. All you know is you want to do it. So when you launch that's not done, but you know you're going to add it in and will that cause a stir or not? Um, where will we get the information mm -hmm. to write about? That, that's quite hard, so you have to talk to people. So you have to talk to agents and people who deal with agents. And then um, you just go for it. You just go for it. Put the heebie-jeebies up the lawyers. Yeah, just go for it. <laughs> Okay, so that was uh, part one of our discussion with ASB Bank about IWantAHome.co.nz. Uh, some really interesting real-world issues there. Um, and now I'd like to get to the competition that we're talking about. Uh, Joseph Jaffe uh, is a fantastic thinker in the whole area of new marketing. Uh, he's written a book called Join the Conversation, and we have a copy to give away to jump in subscribers. Uh, but we just have one copy. So here's how we want to do it. Um, we would like to award this book to the best, or, or the only, if there is only one, the best video comment or audio comment. I'm trying to make it easy, um, but we do want to hear your voice, whether it's uh, an audio comment that you record on your computer and email to us, or whether it's a video uh, comment that you just get a webcam or even get a uh, digital camera that records video. We want to hear your voice and maybe see your face and um, just send that in to simon at ijump.co.nz uh, and, and we'll, we'll give this a month and so if by the beginning of April 2008 uh, we, we want to see a whole lot of different comments and we will put them on the show and um, the best comment uh, as judged by us <laughs> um, will be uh, the winner of Joseph Jaffe's Join the Conversation. Um, yeah. So I uh, just want to make this a two-way conversation. Uh, so we'll be really glad to, uh, to hear from you. Okay, 
Uh, so any questions about that, just email me on simon at ijump.co.nz. Thanks. See you next week. Have a great week. Catch you later. Thanks for watching Jump In. For more information on iJump services, visit our website www.ijump.co.nz.